Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and welcome to Lego Mini Reviews, the show where I review a ton of different Lego vintage and new sets right here on the Duck Bricks YouTube channel in a short form format. So I have a ton of Brickling orders to get through as well as just associated Lego purchases and I figured instead of making a mega video where I go through every single one that's hours long, why not break it up into separate mini reviews? And so in addition to our normal three videos a week schedule, be be sure to stay tuned for a mini review dropping every single day where we do not normally have a standard video releasing. I hope you enjoy and let's jump right into our first pick. All right, so next up here we have set number 80031. This is May's Dragon Car, which retails for 50 US dollars. It also features four minifigures, two of Macaque's evil minions, as well as May herself and Monkey Kid. So this is a fairly interesting and somewhat controversial set. And to be completely honest, I'm gonna say this right off the bat, I think this is probably the weakest set of the wave. And that's by no means saying it's not a good set, it certainly is a lot better than a lot of the other large-scale LEGO cars we get, but I just think in comparison to a lot of the other fantastic builds and even some great builds we've gotten from May in the past, this just feels like a bit of a step back, and let me explain why. First of all, these side builds are fun, they don't really do too too much for me, but it is nice to see some sort of large-scale skateboard for Monkey Kid, we'll just get that off frame here, as well as a villain's bike as well, which is very very similar to other bikes we've gotten for say Ninjago, very similar to the Sons of Garmadon bikes, but it's nice to see this new piece being molded in transparent purple, which is somewhat related to the collectibles of this wave. Speaking of the collectibles of this wave, we have the May figure here wielding one of them. Not really sure exactly what the in-universe story explanation of these will be. At the time of this recording, the television series for Season 3 has not been released yet, so we don't really know anything about what these are supposed to be. But it's just cool to get this as a collectible, although they have used the flame piece quite a lot in different colors in the sets, which does make it feel a little bit less special. One thing that avid LEGO fans may realize here is that the May minifigure, and the car itself, is sporting a brand new color for 2022. LEGO officially calls this color Vibrant Yellow, it's very much a fluorescent or highlighter yellow type of color, which honestly I feel is maybe a little bit too bright for the May figure here. I'm not the biggest fan of the way the graphic design worked out here to actually have the figure have such a bright and glaring, distractingly bright torso, but I guess it makes sense to really want to debut that new color for 2022. I just wish that for future versions of May, we will go back to more of the standard white and teal color scheme. As you can see here, the vehicle does its best to also kind of shoehorn this color in, and they do this to limited effect. You can see here that it's using the standard May color scheme of transparent green, teal, and white, but you also kind of awkwardly have this very highlighter fluorescent yellow color here, which feels very out of place to me. I'm not the biggest fan of how that one actually was integrated into this model in particular. I like its use in these city sets because it makes sense as an emergency color. I just feel like they didn't need to include it here. So this set is basically built around a big play feature where you can see one of the large actually juniors or four plus style of missile launchers there tilting the head upwards will fire the missile. It actually has quite a powerful blast behind it. These are intended to replace the Technic competition cannons, so it really is just using the LEGO City water blast piece, but this time molded in transparent green for energy blasts, which I think is a cool recolor, although it does feel a little bit juniorized for this style of build. Moving onwards, there is some fun shaping going on with the car itself. You can really get this rolled up. It's reusing the Ninjago Prime Empire blade pieces, which make total sense for inclusion of this build as well. And I do like the kind of apple green or transparent light green color used kind of to keep things consistent with the rest of the May vehicles. That being said, it is kind of a strangely shaped car. It really, again, is built around this very blocky launcher at the front, which makes it feel at some points very incomplete or just kind of juniorized a bit to the front here. I was a much bigger fan of, say, the May's Jet from last year, which I think had some really excellent shaping, some really cool color scheme choices and design for gradients of colors in that jet. This year, I think the most off-putting thing to me here is the use of the new color, which actually is kind of surprising to me because I am a big fan of LEGO introducing new colors and sets, just not very well in this set in particular. 
That being said though, not everything about it is bad. I do like the shaping of the actual pieces here that were introduced for LEGO Star Wars back in 2016, but it's cool to see these being actually used as the curvature and shaping of the bodywork of this car. Some nice detailing on the side here, but very, very simple. Of course, as we rotate it to the back here, it's just using a standard Technic frame. Not too, too much else I can say about this, honestly. It's just very, very basic. It feels a little bit too basic for Monkey Kid in terms of the launcher there, but of course, there's a lot more sets to come so let's now move on from this set and take a look at our next set on the list all right and with that we have summed up this mini lego review thank you all so much for tuning in and do let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this set do you like it do you dislike it and if you own it what have been your experiences with building and playing with the set itself also, let me know in the comments if you like this format of mini reviews. I'm trying to put them out on a fairly regular basis. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very, very soon.